Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Maya tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to export your playblasts in a way that looks appropriate for a reel um, or just a hand in if you're doing an assignment or something at a university or high school. Um, this is the sort of thing that you're likely going to be doing a bit of. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do before you render uh, is turn off all your controls unless they are meant to be on for some reason. Um, you want to turn them off because it doesn't doesn't look very good when you're animating with all the controls on obviously so easy way to do that um, if they're only nerves you can hit alt 1 and that will hide them and uh, that also goes under show nerves curves um, though with this rig you can see that it's got some aim constraint indicators so we can turn those off in the display layers here under the channel box editor and if that's not visible it's this button here to reveal it we can turn those off by clicking the V icon next to each layer next to the mesh obviously we do not want to turn off and hey make sure you're subscribed with notifications on otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube um, next if you want to see your animation in subdivision so here it is not subdivided um, you'll need to select your mesh if it's referenced you'll need to turn off referencing if you want to be able to select it like that and hit one on your keyboard to go to non-smoothed and three to go to smoothed or subdivided and depending on your rig subdivided will be too difficult to play back on some computers um, always have the uh, frame counter there so you can see that it's playing back in real time or not if that's not visible for you you can also go to display heads up display and go down to frame rate and that way you know that you're seeing it in real time uh, this is set to 24 frames per second so it should be saying 24 set frames per second when I'm playing back but if it's not that's why we play blast um, for starters you may already have the film gate on like this because you've set up a render camera which um, is what we're currently looking through here and uh, you're going to want to turn that off um, secondly uh, the grid here on the ground this will not be visible in the play blast so if you do want a, a floor um, you might want to put in a piece of geometry so something like a plane scale it up to the appropriate size it's completely up to you um, so you'll want to go up to the render settings before we do anything else and set the resolution uh, so 1920 by 1080 would be your HD resolution um, 720 if you want it smaller uh, is probably fine depending on what your requirements are next go down to the uh, timeline here and right click and go to the play blast but click the option dialog box and then we've got a bunch of options here and I'm going to render from view I'm going to set the format to AVI. You can do it as an image sequence uh, if you'd prefer to compile it um, from the sequence, uh, which actually would give you some extra options in terms of file format. Uh, because if we render with AVI, it's going to be uncompressed. Uh, even this, what, 10 odd second long video is going to be something like 1.5 gigs. So you are going to have to go through and um, convert that using something like Adobe Media Encoder or DaVinci Resolve or um, Premiere or something like that. Um, so if you would prefer, you could also just use image and uh, compile it. So I'll show you how to do that um, at the end, uh, but we'll just go through for now and do the rest. So encoding, I'm just going to set to none. Quality, 100, going to make it look nice and good. Scale to 1, if we set it to 0.5, it'd be 720p. Frame padding, this is the number of digits that are used to describe each frame. So if you were on frame 23, the frame number would be 0023. Uh, remove temporary files and saved file is fine. And then the movie file, that's going to be what it's called. Um, you can call it whatever you want. This is the Clyde Rig Anim. Um, and final one because obviously you'll have seven more finals after this and then finally browse will just bring you to the output directory there um, you will need to type in the name though to save it so now it's going to be called name rather than what I had it set to before so I can just again change it to that and now if I hit play blast You'll see that uh, Windows, I'm sure it's probably something similar on Mac, will automatically pop up the video for you to watch. Now, if um, you don't want to go through the steps of converting this, and I'll show you the file. So here's the file, and the file size is 
gigs, uh, which is a lot and we don't really want to do that. So to do it as an image sequence, we're going to right click on the timeline again, go to the option dialog box and we'll change the format to image and encoding, uh, we were going to set to whichever image format we want. So we want to do this as many individual images, so one image per frame. And I'm going to set the image type to JPEG. You could use PNG if you want, but um, JPEG for this quality is going to be fine. So scale one, frame padding four, safety file the same, and Clyde underscore NM1. We'll play blast that. All right, and this uh, window will pop up, and it's not particularly loose. You, not particularly useful because it's not playing back in real time. So we're going to stop that. And this is just um, Maya's um, anim check thing, which is actually ancient uh, at this point. So there's not really a lot of point using it, but we can use Photoshop. Okay, so I'm just in Photoshop now and I want to navigate to where all the images have been printed to and you can see them all here. So this is one image per frame at 24 frames per second. So I can just select the first frame and then open image sequence here. So this is, needs to be ticked um, and it knows it's an image sequence because of the way that it's named. And then we can click open and we want to set the frame rate. So 24, which is the same as what we're using in Maya. And then we have our um, image sequence here and I can play it back by hitting space. Um, however, if you don't have this timeline visible here, you need to go up to Windows and turn on timeline. So if you wanted to make any uh, adjustments to this, like uh, add your name to it, you could easily do that. So I can go here, create a new layer and I can put small robot studio, for example. And then we need to find it on the timeline. So let's put it at the end. We actually want this to be a, a new layer. So we need to drag it above there and then move it all the way back to the start. And all the way to the end. So now it will have that text there and it will sit over the top um, of your animation. So if you did move it, for example, it would stay over the top of it. So after you've done that, we can go to file and um, export and we can export as a video. And because we're using um, an Adobe product, we can actually change some of the uh, encoding formats. So we're going to call this, I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now. Just call it Anim and we're going to use Adobe Media, Photo, uh, Media Encoder. I'm going to use H.264 high quality. Uh, 1920 by 1080 in 24 frames per second. All frames, so from 0 to uh, 269. Uh, that is because in um, Photoshop it's starting on frame 0, whereas in Maya it's starting on frame 1. So we can render that out. And finally you'll see here on the desktop the animation file, which we can open with whatever thing you want to view it with. And um, you can see now that it's got that text over the top, like so, um, as I showed you in Photoshop. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.